I don't know who you are. And look at that, look at that. You know, don't look at me like that, dude. Who, who am I playing right now? Why are you bother playing this game when you're terrible and you suck? But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Crazy promise! Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Why are you bother playing this game? If you rage quit this game right now. Oh, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. Oh my god! <laughs> One of the things that you guys love about the channel is the fact that I'm able to speak a million languages fluently. I speak nine languages fluently and a total of 40 non-fluently. So if we're talking about, you know, Quincy Promises mask on, mask off celebration, what do we, how would we say that? Mask on or mask off? Mask on or mask off in Dutch. Okay, I know how to say it in Belgium, but in Dutch would it? Masker aan of mas... Masker aan of masker uit? Masker aan of masker uit? Is the word UIT out in Dutch? Is that how the Scottish got the, the word out? Do you no, what? <laughs> We're trying to figure out if Atalanta or Ajax are going out of the Champions League. What's up, big boys, and welcome to the 84 rated UCL Quincy Promise live item card. One of the most popularly, popular, can't even talk right now. Uh, one of the most popularly requested cards on the channel. You guys want my thoughts on whether or not I think IX can go through. And that's probably something you guys are going to have to help me out with because I'm not 100% sure. Atalanta and IX are currently uh, level with four points in that group. Uh, Liverpool are obviously atop the table, and then Mitchelland are at the bottom. But. Both IX and uh, both IX and Atlanta both have three games left remaining. I think the differential. Uh, I mean, there's going to be a bunch of differentiating factors. But if either of them can get, if either of IX or Atlanta can get a result versus Liverpool and then they draw versus each other, or outright if Atlanta beat IX or IX beat Atlanta, this is probably one of the toughest ones to call. We have no idea, and I don't know. Atlanta are one of those teams that you put them in a ch European champion uh, competition and anything can happen. Remember last year we got that Papu Gomez SBC. People swerved it thinking that he wasn't going to be able to do much. Uh, and then they ended up going pretty far. He ended up with like a 92 or 93 rated card. Uh, this Quincy Promise card, who knows? If Ajax finished second, he's guaranteed, um, if he makes it out of the group, guaranteed to go up to an 86 rated card. And it would be just absolutely filthy. Quincy Promise, obviously one of those cards every year. Whenever he gets a special card, people are always very, very interested in. But like I say, boys, if you guys do enjoy the episode, if they're helpful in some way or shape or form or just entertaining, smash a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as a wise man once said let's just dive right into it so it is an 84 rated card you get the five star skill moves you get the four star weak foot um 300 000 coins not cheap especially for an off league if we're going to call it that 89 acceleration 92 sprint speed we're not going to touch any of that because i like the finisher in the way that it makes a player not exactly have fast top line speed uh but i think the 89 acceleration 92 sprint speed is fine but it give it makes them feel faster just because the way the agility and then the dribbling is jacked off so 97 agility 99 dribbling with 85 stamina uh shooting stats for days 99 finishing 95 shot power and just a very smexy smexy looking card like i said has the five star skill moves has the four star weak foot has, has the outside the foot shot as well as the flare um He's got the flare trait. So we've got Kudus. We've got Aryan Robin, who we're going to obviously have the cut inside trait with the 4411. He's got the four star skill moves. They nerfed his pace big time. 75 74 goes up to 85 74, respectively, uh, with the Hunter Chem style. And then, of course, it gives us an opportunity to use this Kudus card uh, as well as the Dumfries. So this is how it's going to look in game. Uh, we're going to switch to the 4411. We're going to actually have Quincy Promise as a center forward, Ilhas Bebu as a striker, Robin as a right mid, and then Kudus as an RC. But uh, let's not delay things any further. Again, you guys let me know what you think about Ajax's chances. Again, they're they're tied with uh, Atalanta in terms of points. And uh, it's just a crazy, crazy looking group as of right now. So uh, let's get into match number one with uh, Quincy Promise, Kudus, Aryan Robin, and Dumfries. And Il has Bebu, by the way, is how you pronounce it. Vamos. Or should I say, Lekron Gazoon. Did a nuclear explosion just go off in my stadium? If you don't, if you don't have Ilhas Bebu in your squad, what are you doing? If you got a Bundesliga squad and Ilhas Bebu is not in your squad, what the actual hell are you doing playing FIFA 21? You're doing it wrong. Okay. 
El empate está. Oh, look at that. It's going to be okay. <laughs> what are you wiping the windows? Skiller versus Skiller, huh? Usmane Dembele. Ahí tiene la pelota tadita, puede ser una buena. Ahí van los pelotas en el área. Goal! Come on, bro. Para detenerlo. Kudus. Ilhas Bebu. Ilhas Bebu. He's nuts. All right, we're coming back. Ilhas Bebu picking up where he left off yesterday. He's got two goals in the first 40 minutes. Han sido bastante pacientes en la creación del juego, pero perdieron el balón. Este puede ser el de la ventaja. Ilhas Bebu. This card, this card is so cracked. He's got a Hattie in the 45th minute, and we're playing an absolute mad lad skiller. I don't even know what game, I don't even know what I'm playing right now. He's got his Dembele, he's got his Ansu Amafati, he's got the, uh, the Barca youngsters, and he's absolutely ripping me up with the both of them. I, I haven't seen someone so adept at playing on the wings, man. This guy's crazy on the wings. And of course, Ilhas Bebu in the 5th, 40th, and 44th minute coming up clutch. And then he responds right away. So it's 3-3, four shots, four on target. This is one of the most even matches I think I've ever played in FIFA. Quincy Promes. Han regalado la pelota. Aplausos, señores. Brillante asistencia. Dejan solo. Rashford. Who, is, who am I playing? <laughs> look at that, look at that. <laughs> no, don't look at me like that, dude. Who, who am I playing right now? <laughs> First thing I do is I say, would y'all look at that? You know what I mean? I said it Quincy. Quincy promise. Quincy Promes. Buen disparo. Kudus. Come on. 4 4 in the 69th minute. We're bringing this thing. We're bringing this thing back. Mohamed Kudus. Do your mess on. Veni var ik ga, maar weet waar het begon. And that's it. That was the game winner. Quincy Promise. That's what it's been. That's what it's been building up to all game. Quincy Promise with the absolute jammer. Ryan Robin. T Rex arms. Nice. Los Bebu. Los Bebu. And there we go. Six four. Oh my dear God, Ilhas Bebu's just absolutely nuts. Four goals with Ilhas Bebu in the 82nd minute. I'm not gonna lie, dude. When this match first started out, I was like, all right, this is one of those matches that it was just not meant for me. Look at the dribbling. Look at the ankle breaks. Look at the body faint. Quincy Promes. Mad. Mad thing. 7-4. And that's all she wrote, boys. 7-4. His dribbling is... Look at that. Ilhas Bebu. There's no question about it. He's going up to collect his, uh, collect his ball. What is that? Four total attempts, four goals. Every shot that he took, every attempt that he took, he converted it. Ilhas Bebu. The hero, at least of the 48 hours, man. He's been absolutely incredible for us. Uh, what did Quincy get? Quincy got a 9.0... He provided an assist and also scored two goals. Kudus came in and provided four assists. So the Ajax boys provided five assists between the two of them and uh, three goals. So three goals and five. So what is that? Three plus seven, three plus eight, eight goal contributions. Is, am I saying that correctly? Eight goal contributions between the two Ajax boys? Or do I not, do I not know how to talk? Quincy Promes. Quincy Promes. 
Quincy Promes. Quincy Promes. Auto blocks. It's just so nuts. Quincy Promise. Quincy Promise, was ist aber los mit dir? It's just okay, it's nuts. It's a nuts card. Still has Bebu. This. This. Body faint. Still somehow has the ball. Double body faint. And then another one. And okay. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> no, fr no freaking way, dude. What was that game? Quincy promised that's the fastest, the fastest hat trick that we've ever got in any FIFA ever. Quincy promised, what is wrong with you, bro? I mean, like, this is just pop. This five-star McGeady spin, body faint, pop. We are absolutely going ham in Division 3 with this Quincy Promise. Now, now here's the interesting part. We're not sure if Ajax are going through. It's between Atalanta and Ajax. I think it's a little bit too close to call. I think if you're, like, I think maybe Ajax have the slight edge in terms of competition experience, but I don't say it's much by any means. But 300,000 coins is still pretty damn crazy. Even without the 80, going up to 86, which he would be absolute, I mean, he's already close to endgame in terms of a lot of the meta stats. I'm going to go ahead and say three and a half out of five in terms of value. Uh, I think if he, if he was, if he was in a group where it was a little bit more clear cut, I think I'd be able to give him a four out of five in terms of value. But even like I said, with the 84, 84, if we're talking about like the Atals and, and the Bebus and stuff, even without the upgrades, even though there's a huge uh, draw, obviously for a Bebu who's pretty much guaranteed to go to 82, 80, 83, even without the guarantee of him going up to an 86, I'll still give it a three and a half out of five in terms of uh, three and a half out of five in, uh, in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I got to give this thing a four and a half out of five. The finisher chem style was made for a Quincy promise. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot. You get the complete package. He's not incredibly hard to link into other leagues, uh, but uh, you have the likes of a Kudus and then an Aryan Robin who you can manage to get in uh, into a squad. And he's a very, very fun card to use. And that's the main that's the main value behind a uh, Quincy promise card. He's just really, really fun to use. So that's going to do it for the episode here, boys. Uh, what, uh, there's nothing really more I can say other than what you saw on the epi today we did that with 84 rating and 99 chemistry i think one of the first epis i've ever done where i didn't have the full chemistry because i've got torsten frings down there uh as my manager but an absolutely incredibly incredibly crack card let me know if you guys try them out in the comment section below and don't let don't forget to let me know if you think ix are going to go through uh in their group because they are going to be battling up against atalanta for that number two spot but that's going to do it for the episode here boys smash like if you guys did enjoy if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later ade